What's up guys, Sam here back with another video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to be doing a review or tutorial on a phone, but instead it's going to be something way different. Something I've never ever even seen before in my life and that's the Raspberry Pi 3. Now last week a customer walked into my store with a Raspberry Pi 3, handed it to me and said he wanted to have Cody installed on it to watch movies and TV shows etc. Now I've never seen this thing before in my life, but knowing me, I'm always up for a challenge. So I said to him, sure, I'll do it, hand it to me, pick it up the next day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Kodi on a Raspberry Pi 3 device. All right, let's get started. All right, now to complete this task, we're gonna need a few things. The first one being a SD card. That right there is a eight gig. Next, we're gonna need a HDMI cord. And finally, we're gonna need a power adapter. So let's get started and do this thing together. All right, so let's go ahead and take the Pi out of the box. This is the package that it comes in. Also guys, I should let you know that you're gonna need a USB keyboard to actually use this thing, as well as a USB mouse, or it could be a Bluetooth mouse, as well as a TV or monitor, all right? So this is it, but you need other peripherals as well. So this is pretty much it here. This entire little thing in the palm of my hand is a small computer. As you can see here, it has USB ports, Ethernet port here, HDMI, micro USB, not sure about this, probably an audio jack. And at the back right here, it has a micro SD card slot. Guys, this is so crazy. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on this little chip right here. Let's get started. All right, now the first thing we need to do is go ahead, plug in our peripherals. So I'm gonna go here, plug in the HDMI cable, and then plug in the keyboard. All right, I'm gonna open up the SD card. All right guys, so for this particular method, I'm gonna be using the noobs method. It's a pretty easy installation method to set up this Raspberry Pi. All right, it's like noob safe. <laughs> now the first thing you need to do is just grab that micro SD card, put it in an SD adapter, put it into your computer. So you're gonna just download a particular file, I'll put it in the description down below, extract it, put it on the SD card and put it in here and then start the process. All right, so let's go take this micro SD card out and install this and connect the power. So you're gonna use a micro USB cable and connect this like so. Now on your TV or monitor, make sure that you select the correct input. So I'm going to go ahead and install these things here. Click on that. That's the recommended one. And I'm going to click on this as well since I see it mentioned something about a user-friendly Kodi Entertainment Center distribution thing. Um, also guys, we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi. So this is my Wi-Fi here. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the password. So my Wi-Fi is connected and now I'm going to go ahead and click on install. Oh, cool. Now with the Wi-Fi connected, you have other options to install other stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and install these top two right here. So go ahead, click on install. Click yes. And just let it do its thing. All right, so it finally finished. The OS is installed successfully. Let's go ahead and click OK. Which one do you want to boot? Let's try this one since we're going to do that. Yo, this is dope. If this, this thing comes with Cody built in. All right, guys, this is very awesome. It comes with Cody built in. It's like pre-configured. This is dope. All right, let's go through the wizard. The wizard will guide you through the process of setting up your new Libre Elec installation. Select your location, time zone, and connecting you to the internet. All right, let's go ahead, click on next. That one there, click on connect. We're gonna go ahead and put in my password again. Go ahead, click on next. All right, now for this, what you need to do is add the add-ons to be able to watch certain movies, TV shows, etc. So the first thing you're gonna do, go into the settings part right here, click on file manager. Then go ahead, click on add source. Click on none. Now you're gonna go ahead and type in this string here. I'll leave it in the description down below. So just go ahead, type in, as you see here, colon forward slash forward slash media repos dot net. Save. 
slash Cody stuff and click on OK. Now right here where it says enter a name for this media source, make sure it says Cody stuff. If it doesn't, just enter Cody stuff right there and click on OK. All right, now once you've done that, go back to the home screen. All right, click on add-ons right here. Then you're gonna click on download and click on install from zip file, all right? So go into the settings after that. And once you're in the settings, make sure you take this right here to download from unknown sources, all right? Click yes. Now go back and click on install from zip file. Then you're gonna click on Cody stuff. And then you're gonna click this one right here that says dash smash repo dot zip and wait for it to be installed. All right, as you can see, it's right here, smash repo. Now after that's done, click on install from repository. Click on smash repo, select video add-ons, select Exodus, and click on install. So now after that, you're gonna wait for it to be installed. As you can see right here, it says downloading. Just wait on it to be finished and you'll be good. Now, as you can see, it just popped up. It finished downloading, all right? So if you go to add-ons, you'll see it right here. That's Exodus. Let's give it a go, all right? Click on movies. Now, after that, you'll see all these movies right here. Let's go ahead and click on Spider-Man. All right, right now you see the streams are loaded up. Let's go ahead and click on the first one. all right guys that's pretty much how you do it that's how you install cody on a raspberry pi 3 all right that's spider-man right there pretty dope all right that's cody that's exodus pretty cool i'm gonna install a couple others the procedure will be the same it's fairly easy and yeah if you have any questions about add-ons or anything like that let me know in the comment sections down below and if you did like this video and want to see more content like this make sure to go ahead like and subscribe as always guys you've been awesome my name is the coin and i'll catch you guys in the next video zine